What's up, guys? Welcome back. All right. So now we got all that done. Let's teleport to the mountain pup. Let's go do what he wants us to do and continue. <clears throat> I should congratulate you once again on TikTok. Picking off those targets in the tablet state, congratulations. As you're well aware, this island is yours and yours alone. You're free to build whatever you like on whack 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 it down wherever you like. With whoever you like. You heard me right, you're already familiar with the notice board, but there's another way to con connect with other builders across the space time continuum. Oh yeah, this is the online play. Okay. There are many others out there out there who share the same creative passion as you. But how to track track them down? Why multi-builder mode, of course. Do you remember where you and Maura thump thumped that fat rat on the night you arrived here? Well, it just so happens that that cave is home to a magical portal that can whisk 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 you away to the homes of other builders. If that tick tick tickles your fancy, you should head down to that cave and embark on your maiden journey, a thoroughly space-time teleporter. Do 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 do. <laughs> this is how you do multiplayer. <laughs> If you lavish some attention on the area around the teleportal, any visitors will be in for a treat or a shock, shock, shocking when they arrive. So if I understand you could So if I understand you correctly, we can use this portal to bring in other builders who will help us build Lulutopia together. <laughs> and Stitch can visit other people's islands and steal some great ideas for making my empire of Eva's creation even more deadly. You think of a few things more enjoyable. They're building, bu building buildings and bash bash bashing blocks with all one's friends. You should give it a go. Right now we've got got, got that one out of the way. I say that it's high time you both bolted off to a new island in search of fresh adventures. Go and speak with the captain on the dock 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 and little bird tells me he has some top 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 notch news for you. If you want to learn more about multi-builder mode, you only have to ask. Rock, rock, rock up here and talk to me anytime you like. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, multi-builder mode. But before we do anything, we're going to come all the way up here. And build a small room. Tiny room. Target! Build a room somewhere up high. It's the easiest way to get this metal. Because this is the highest place in the entire map. Except for that, like, peak over there, but... The cool thing is, you don't need to keep it, so... Once you build it, and you get your mini metal, and you can get rid of it.
Oh, I forgot to check. Yeah, see, five defense, two defense. Makes no sense. That out of the way. Oh. All right, let's go. Gliding with style. Ooh, new letters. Mr. Stitch, since I left the children of Hargon, not a day has gone by that I do not dream of building. I preach the good word of Bilderim at every waking moment. Just the other day, that tomato-loving orc by the bog promised to join me in prayer one day. One day soon. I hope he will become my very first comfort to the children of Stitch. Steadily fast yours, Clayton. You, the wandering wayfarer. Current wash me here. This foreign land, my abode. Thoughts of home fading. Memories cling on. Nostalgic vistas of old call out builders. Sail to bamboo bluffs. Natural, natural grace in view. Yours for the taking. Forsaken fishers. Greetings from the fishers fanatics. Paradise. Me and my fishing buddy have been living here for bleeding yonks now. Nothing but our roads and uh, rods and fish for a company. We spend our days casting off and waiting for a bite. It's even... It's heaven, I tell you. There's just one thing missing. A place for all our fishy friends to live. If a builder reads this, we need your help. Come to Angler's Island, sharpness and build us an aquarium. My life's work is complete. My designs are ready. We are teetering on the cups of a moderate revolution, but I fear the day when a builder puts my designs to practical use will never arrive. The children of Hargon will find me soon enough and erase it all. They have eyes and ears in every corner. The fertility of this message is evident, but hope, flimsy as it may be, remains. So yeah, we might actually be going to a different island. Uh, some, uh, the DLC islands first. We'll get some fishies! Oh, is it? Did you read that strange letter I put in the mailbox? In the postbox? Intriguing, was it not? I expect all that talk of new building materials got your blige pump spewing out of new ideas for things to make. Yahar, I expect you can use the builder's workbench to build a whole range of stuff just like you always do. And the best thing is that I found the island from the letter Bamboo Bluffs. It was marked on my maps all this time, but I never noticed it until now. I'm sure you'll find all the materials you'll need to build your newly invented items. Come on, we have we have a chart with me when we want to go to that near hot spot. There's just one catch. I can only plot a course to bamboo once I know where Blossom Bay is. Ask me again when you found it. Arr. Ahoy there, Sits. Read the letter from the angler who's macarooned on some island out there in the, in the drink, have ya? You'll never believe it, but that letter was roiled up inside a bottle, and I, I jellyfished up. And from the look of it, a new adventures are under the horizon for you. What was this place called again? Angler's Island, was it? Well, if you want to jib over there, I'd be more than scurvy to take ya. Yeah. Oh, ho, Stitch. Me hearty, yes. I'm sure you've noticed I popped a message from a mysterious designer in your post box. With all that new furniture and building materials, you're at your disposal. Why? You're perfectly a modern architect in making your heart. And I reckon your island could do with a little to Dayton, wouldn't you say? By the way, by... But why stop there? Those fancy pants new hairdos of yours need a, new, need a head. Anything better than that crow's nest of a barnet. I'm sure you know this already, but you can reek off your dressing table and you can build all your new objects at the builder's workbench. Ahoy, Stitch. You washed up here just the right time. Do you recall that island I told you about? Well, I finally smacked eyes on it. I worked out why nobody's found it until now. The whole place was surrounded by water. 
a little flying fish told me that it's called Crumbledum. Apparently they've got a mine there that's packed with more precious stuff than one you can shake a peg leg at. Of course, Crumbledum, the name was on the tip, tip, tip of my tongue. Oh, that was, that's the hermit. Ha <laughs> ha! The land of golden sands where the soil is stuffed with metal just waiting for someone to dig, dig, dig it up. You surely won't have to look far to find cop copper, silver, or even gold. Perhaps you'll unearth a few friends to bring back here too. With some more people on bo bo board, you'll be able to build this island up even more and in new and exciting ways using the metals and materials you bring back. <laughs> Sounds like just what we need. Come on, Stitch, let's see what this new what we can find at Crumbledon. Oh, there's plenty to see at Crumbledon and the legends tell of a rab rab rabbit eared beauties and my my mighty miners with muscles on their muscles. Well, well what will it be, Stitch? You can keep on con construction here or head on to the wild, wild blue yon yon yonder. If it's yonder you're after, I already plotted a course. Second coffee stain on the left. Round the holes and up we'll be there in two shakes of a shackle tail. Come on, find me when you're off to the make your own crumble dung. Okay, so. There's crumble dung. There's the. There's that. Cool. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So there is. Pearl Peel, there's the Bamboo Bluffs, there's Blossom Bay, there's Soggy Scary, there's Angler's Island. So we're going to go to Angler's Island first to get this quest started, this quest line started. Because this will give me the fishing rod, which I can start fishing for fishies. Because this is definitely part of the content. Island, a fishy fish fancier's favorite place. This would be good because then after this, next week we'll start the new island. So, grab me with squib. Here we are, England's Island. Ahoy, there's someone near over yonder. Could that person who planned that letter, why not lubber, over invoke the right to parley? I'll stay here and make the ship's boat ship. Medical herb. Open. Nope, nothing in here. Page look. Oh yeah, I can now do that. Uh, hair color. We're gonna go. We're gonna keep it blue. Female too. Now I got a hat. He's actually don't get equipment, right? Yeah, there is no hat in the game. I can't believe that bloomin' plunker went and cracked it. I have proper left. Ow. Wow. Oh, the bleeding heck are you? Oh, what are you doing on my island? Mm -hmm. You're a builder and you're saying you read me letter? Sorry, mate, but I don't want your chat and I ain't written no letters. Look, I ain't really in the mood to netter. Me mate's gone missing and me nets are cranked. You seem like a nice lad, but do us a favor and jog on, yeah? I didn't come here to make new friends, so just leave me be. I asked you to leave me alone, but you still want to have a chat, don't... Don't nothing phase you, eh? 
Maybe you can help me out then. See that netting over there? Well, that's me fish cage. Problem is, all broken and down to fix it. If you're really a builder, why don't you make some netting and fix the damage? We can stitch learn a new recipe. Building netting. You can go down here in the water. And there's, yeah. All these cool things that you can be grass and that you can grab in here. I'm gonna drown. Very quickly, there's like a treasure chest down here somewhere. Oop, 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 oop. Come on, come on, blow air. Thank you. bunch of underwater stuff to make a really nice beautiful underwater aquarium and stuff like that all those things just for building Bowden's cool. Bonette's a Barracuda's brother you fixed me fish cage up and good and proper you really are a builder after all thanks for that you might just have saved me bacon there, but if it was follower of the children, I'd be baking the living daylights out of you right about now. Luckily for you, I ain't anyway. Gillian's the name. I fled me old home and came here as far as away as I could get. There ain't nothing to do on this island but fish. So what are you doing all the way out here? Oh, are you into fish too? Yes. Pull the other one. You ain't no angler, you're a fish. I spot your kind of my lot. Tell you what, you can have this considered a little thank you present for meddling me nuts. Yay, fishing rod. New tool acquired. So it looks so funny with him with a freaking turtle shell on him. River or lake, pond or ocean, wherever there's water. Yep. We can just fish. Fishy, fishy. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's keep tapping until we pull them in. Striped beak fish. Depending on where you're sitting on, depends on what the fish you get. Perfect head. Another strike peak fish.
I catch a couple of fish for her quest anyway, so. Pick it up. I don't know what was written in that letter you read, but whoever it said, I can tell you it's a little bit of fish and fire in your belly. Want me to teach you the ancient mysteries of fishing? It ain't like I got nothing better to do. Yes, that's the honor I wanted. From now on, you're my apprentice. I'll train you up to a first-class fisher. Now, see that rocky bit over there who's gotten jotted out into the sea? That's the best spot from the island for a fledgling fisher to start. So when you're ready, pop over there and cast off. Once you caught something, come and show me what. I want to see if it was right taking under my weed. See if you can catch a mackerel. That was a mackerel that she wanted me to catch. Hey, I caught a mackerel. Fish has been grilled. Would you look at that? You've only gone and cooked yourself in mackerel. Cooked yourself in. Huh. Hooked, not cooked. <laughs> this ain't no beginner's luck. You've got the English touch. Now you know how to use a fishing rod. You can cast off any place where it's water. I'm sure you'll find a fair few only holes where fish don't never stop climbing. Huh? You want to know why I chose this remote island when I could have fished anywhere in the world? It's because of the stinking children of Hargon, ain't it? All their building ba buildings bad, destruction's great, nonsense was proper starting to peck me a hard head. There's no bleeding way I was going to live in a world like that, so I said ha- <laughs> So I said I ain't having it. I ain't legging it. This is where I ended up. <laughs> I just had an idea, Stitch. Want to see something interesting? You know how you fix me nets? Well, I want you to see what happens when you release that mackerel into the fish cage. Now, you won't be disappointed, I promise. All right. Yeah. And that's how you release a fish. That's how you make an aquarium. Would you look at that? I ain't never seen an happier mackerel in my days. If you have enjoyed that, why not make your own fish cage or tanks and fill them up with fish? You could watch them swim about wherever you like. And won't that you could even relax in that bit, hey? I reckon a builder like you could make some pretty impressive places to keep his fish. The possibilities are endless. What's that? You've got your own island where you can make all sorts of stuff with your mates? You've got no excuses then, have you? If I was you, I would I'd leave everything there was to know. I'd learn everything there was to know about fishing and use that knowledge to become a better builder. I can see in your eyes, Stitch, fishing has got you hooked, but how'd you like to catch something that ain't mackerel? Where is it there's something to the tuna fort forty different kinds of fish out there? If you thought I finished a mackerel, you don't know the scale of it. Yeah, you heard me right. I said 40. That's a bleeding loads, ain't it? So if you want to be known as a master angler, you gotta have the hook in the biggest and rarest fish that the river's emotions have ever offered. If you're up to the challenge, we've best started with to see those rocks over there. Try casting your line over there and see what you can hook. Hop to it, Dan. This is your first ever step becoming the real master. Once you've caught something that ain't a mackerel, bring it here and show me. Blimey, for a second I thought you might be a fishing out of water, but your prize goes to the striped beak fish you just snagged. You know, because you reeled it in in it. Now, if you ain't figured out it out already, let me explain. You'll catch all sorts of different fish depending on where you cast off from. But if you want to catch the rarest kinds, you can't beat the rocks on the seashore. You really got a knack for this, you know. That, when I first come here, I never in a million years said I'd bump into someone like you. If only Finn was still here, that bloke probably had a fish on the brain. He would overjoyed to see how quickly you've taken in England, I tell you. So on the rocks, if you stand on a rocky area and catch your line in the water, you might catch fish not found elsewhere. So, rocky islands. 
You're wondering of this old Finn character I keep banging on about. Well, he's my fishing buddy and went out in a fish finding mission and never came back. Good bloke he was and all, but bit of a nosy so and so, but a mate nonetheless. I said to see him gone, to be honest. You know what? Ever since you caught that first first fish, my tummy's been rebelling. Like nobody's been No, you can't call yourself a master angler if you don't know how to cook your your day's catch. Why not chunk the striped bag fist on the bonfire and get some grub? That a grilled breakfish you got there? Can I have it? Mm. Cheers, Stitch. I tell you what, you grilled it into perfection, down to the little how it goes. Om nom nom. Core blimey, that's delicious. I always say that when it comes to fish, you gotta keep it simple and use the only the freshest ingredients. Try chucking in a few veggies and whatnot next time, and I'm sure you can come with some right tasty recipes. Here, take this. You're a decent angler now, but you'll really need to look the part if you're the bounce. You can change the dressing table over there if you like. Yeah, the straw hat is now available for dressing. Yep. Now my belly's full if you like doing some more fishing, but I've got the slightest trickier challenge in mind for you this time. You've had it easy up to now, but some fish are slippier customers than others. If you want to catch the best fish, there's a few techniques you'll need to master first. I want to see if you can catch a rockfish, a clownfish, and a sunfish. Make sure to release them into the cage when you're done. You might have noticed that I ain't taught you how no secret techniques. That's cause I'm a firm believer in learning by doing. Still, if you get the pick in the you get in a pickle, I'll spare a few words of advice. No fish wants to be caught, but some will even fly into a rage when this happens. Press and hold X and wait for the catch to hold to calm down. Fish. This is probably another strike. Yep. Oh no, a rockfish. Where do I catch the other fish? Try on here. Ooh, there's a big fish. There's a big fish and a tiny fish. Those are the two I always need. Ah, dang it. Caught the wrong one. 
mackerel. So I need the small, tiny fish. I need the big fish. Ooh, two big fishes. Who's going to go first? Small fish is going to go first. We got the small fish now. There's the clownfish. And now I just need to wait for the big fish to catch. I don't need the small fish. There you are, big fish. This fish is gonna fight me. Yeah, we are. Sunfish. Gigantic thing. Whee! Right. We got all three of the fishes. Thirty-one minutes. Budge. All right. Well, I'm guessing we will continue one more mission. I think there's one more quest after this until it's telling me to go to other islands for fish, um, and then we'll go to the next island. So stay tuned for next week's episodes of Dragon Quest Builders.